in the same topic the next point what we are going to study is the third conservation law the third conservation law is conservation of linear momentum the conservation of linear momentum is already being discussed in class 9th now you will ask where we have discussed it in class 9th you have studied the force okay so what is newton's second law of motion what is newton's second law of motion hopefully you know the statement but let me recall it the rate of change of linear momentum the rate of change of linear momentum is directly proportional to the force applied and the motion of the body will take place in the direction of the force applied that the rate of change of momentum is given by delta p upon delta t the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the force applied and the motion of the body will take place in the direction of the force applied that means if the total external force if the total external force applied on a body becomes zero if the total external force applied on the body becomes zero that means f equals to zero which will bring us to the conclusion that delta p upon delta t will be equals to zero which means that delta p is equals to zero which again means that p2 minus p1 will be equals to zero which can be said that conservation of linear momentum means p2 minus p1 is equals to zero when the total external force applied on the body becomes zero then delta p will becomes zero which means p2 minus p1 will becomes zero and this is the meaning of conservation of linear momentum now let's go on to the fourth one the fourth one is conservation of angular momentum what do you mean by angular momentum suppose we are having a fan everyone in their house we can see the fan when the fan is moving on its axis the fan do moves on its axis that means by applying the electrical force on the fan the fan is rotating on its axis like the earth is rotating on its axis so the formula is given by tau this is known as torque this is the symbol of torque okay so tau is equals to delta l upon delta t where torque means what do you mean by torque torque means rotational rotational effect effect of force that means on applying force if the body starts rotating on its axis then it will be termed as torque a single term used for this one rotational effect of force if torque acting on the body becomes zero if the total torque acting on the body becomes zero it is zero that is delta l upon delta t that means delta l becomes zero then what is l over here this l is the angular momentum this l is the angular momentum and this means that conservation of angular momentum when tau becomes zero l becomes delta l becomes zero thank you